Okay, so truth be told, I like to people watch. I just, I just enjoy watching people. All right. Well, if you like to watch people, you might not only enjoy it, you might actually put a little cash in your pocket if you watch the right people. It's time for Most Wanted Monday with Lieutenant Tim Robinson of the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm glad to be here, and may the fourth be with you. Oh, <laughs> the fourth be with you. Okay. <laughs> so, who have you brought with you on May the fourth? <laughs> I brought six more individuals and I'm hoping your viewers will recognize and tell us who they are or where we can find them. Let's jump right in. Let's talk to uh, talk about rather uh, Clinton Lee Kelly. Yes. Clinton Lee Kelly, he's wanted a connection with a weapons case, an assault case, and a motor vehicle theft case. We still believe him possibly be on the eastern shore. He has ties to Dorchester County. So any of you viewers over there have any idea where we can find them, please call Crime Solvers right away. All right, moving on to Brahim Kelly. Yeah, uh, uh, Brahim Kelly, we want him in connection with a drug uh, drug distribution case. Mm -hmm. So if you know where Brahim Kelly is, please give Crime Solvers a call right away. All righty, Erica Latasha Mann. Erica Mann, we've been, we've, she's a repeat profile. We have gotten tips on Miss Mann. We have not caught her yet, so if anybody has any information where, where Miss Mann can be located, please call Crime Solvers right away. All right, let's take a look at Charles Rem. Charles Rem, we believe him to be down in the Fruitland area for any of our viewers down there. We've, we're looking for him in connection with child support warrants, and some of these warrants date back to 2011. How about Friedman Americo Soriano? Yes, Mr. Soriano, we still believe he's in the Salisbury area. We want him in connection with a drug distribution case. And moving on to Ashley Thomas. Yes, Miss Thomas, um, she again is a repeat profile. We have gotten tips on her. We believe her to be down on the eastern shore of Virginia. Uh, we have gotten some information. She's going back and forth between Salisbury and Eastern Shore, Virginia. So we, we have gotten tips on her. We haven't gotten her yet. We're going to keep profiling her until the right tip comes in. And of course, you are on Facebook. Yes, we're on Facebook. It's it, it's pretty impressive with the amount of people that are looking at some of the people, the Crime Solvers group. I just noticed that the last one, that the last woman from East Shore, Virginia, we profiled the Crime Solvers group, put on Facebook, and close to, I think, close to 100 people shared it. Wow. So it's getting out there. People are going to Crime Solvers, their, their Facebook page, and looking at this, so it is getting the word out. But if you'd like to earn the money, 410-548-1776. Yes. Lieutenant Robinson, thank you so much. Thank you very much. much. And if you would like more information on Crime Solvers, go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. It's easy to understand. So many of our local police officers are passionate about what they do. As a matter of fact, many of us love our careers. But could your career be on the latest list of those that are disappearing? We're going to hear what they are next. You'll find out if yours is one of them and why many are now looking to make a career switch later in life. Plus how one man here on the peninsula has managed to turn his favorite hobby into a lucrative profession. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.